Welcome to FMTraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. One of the days the escape key will work with QuickTime, but until then, welcome everybody. Good to have you here. We're here to talk to the wonderful FileMaker platform. We are here at the equally wonderful Nick Hunter, who's uh, <laughs> one of our senior engineers of many years, and we've spent the last several years talking about uh, all the ways that you can use FileMaker pretty much cohesively over the past several years. So it's been great. Uh, let's real, real quick talk about our live stream training schedule. We do this five days a week. We stream to three platforms, YouTube, Twitch, and Discord. Uh, so for anyone who's like, man, I don't like YouTube, or I don't like Twitch, or I don't like Discord for whatever reason, let me know. I'll let you know real fast if you don't know already that YouTube and Twitch are on a 60 second delay. So I will get to your question, but you're like, man, no one's got seen, like, I've asked my question, but it's taking like a while to get there, or... It seems to be they just moved on a totally different topic. It's probably because of the delay. So we are currently working on a mini series called Exploring All the Functions in FileMaker. There are a lot. Uh, I know there's a couple functions of the list that Nick is not going to do, like the Japanese functions, for example. But otherwise, we're talking about pretty much most of them. So with that being said, I think we're good. Cool. Nick, what are we doing today? Hello, Marge. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. So. <clears throat> So today is another day, the third day of the this series about the the function, the mm -hmm. parameter function. So we're going to run through all the functions, or like a recap of what we're doing here during this series that we last for some time. Uh, I'm running all the function here, uh, the parameter function, you know, and uh, one by one by category, okay, or by type, by type. No, that that's what Farnaker said. All function by type, and uh, we run them, you know, one by one, and we talk about things, and we we do demos, and uh, you know, we build things, we try things. Uh, it's always good to see what we can do with the Farnaker platform, and uh, we we'll have kind of a explanation of what these do, and have kind of an example on real time and real world, right? In real world. So so yesterday we check two of them, the exact and the filter, right? And uh, today we're going to run one of those and I want to do the filter value, which is it's one of the important one and one that I'm using, okay? Uh, so in order of importance, um, based on what you learn here in the, in the, in the webinar and my explained file maker, uh, char code are you know, very used, and even the boss yesterday, or you know, he pretty much validated this. Exact, you know, is compared to two piece of text together. It can be useful, but it's not you know, a, a big one. Filter is is good when you want to filter something like numbers. If you want to filter text, you know, you just want to extract, uh, you know, an amount of. Uh, um, of characters, you know, like all the letters, some, uh, you know, some uh, special characters where you want to allow uh, to allow only this, right? The filter value is important. Okay, so uh, I want to run this um, in, in good because it's important. So what a filter value is doing? You know what a value is. So first, let's define what a value is. I created a, a field named value. This is a value. This is a value. This is a value. This is a value. A value is whatever piece of text. This is a value. Right? This also is a value. So if I count, if I use value count on this, I have four values. One, two, three, four. Correct, right? So this value, it's a text between us by a carriage return, you know? If I do this, now I have five values, five, correct? And if I do this, now four, right? Okay, so, now that we, 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 we define values, right? We 
can do this. Filter value, right? The text to filter, so that would be this one. And let's say I want to filter with Nick. Right? As you can see, nothing came. Why? Nick is not a value. This is a value. Right? So the filter value will evaluate the value and you need to compare the value with another value. So let's say now, uh, here, always, so I'm doing the same, right? So now I have this, and I'm doing this. So the, cut, the the filter value, I can say, filter the value from that, and filter this, right? So, this. Why is say field is missing? Oh, I changed the name, sorry. Right? So, as you can see here, he filtered what he found, right? But if he extracts, that means filter means everything that is here and here. Get me everything that is here from the list here. That means everything that is common. So here we have Greece, uh, Nick Hunter is common, Farmaco Pro Developer is common, and Greece is common on both, correct? On both. So, but as you can see, he kept the order of the source value list. Nick, file, Greece. Even here, it's in, in, the, in another order. It keeps filtering, right? Right? But it keeps the order of the source value. That is important to know. It can be useful sometime, right? So let me arrange this. I don't like it. Okay. So uh, what happens if so I have this, right? If I say this, nothing happened. Why? Because Santa Clara is not part of this, right? So the filter value will get you the list of what is common between both, right? The, the filter Not doing the same, as you can see. It's filtering text, right? So it's filtering text. So if you see here, it says Koloya because you have a C and L here. See, so it's, it's filtering text letter by letter, right? Letter by letter, the filter. The filter values, it filters the value. So we have more precision here. So do we have questions? Um, there is a question from David Angel. Each value in a value list is separated by a carriage return? Yes. OK. So you have two things. You have a list of values, which is this. This is a list value, and you have a value list, which is a filemaker terminology, right? And the same, you know, separated by cap return. 
ok by carriage done carriage done yeah so you have a list of, a list of values and you have a value list value list is the is the file maker functionality okay so file maker components okay so now let's see let's analyze this a little bit okay so the value because this is important why you know i want to know you i want to show you why this is important let's say i have another record here and here i'm putting this 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 uh one one three three right okay so why this is powerful because if i do this and if i do this and if i do this and if i do this right it's not filtering even if you we have many things in common see if i do this yes but if I do this, yes. But if I do this, no. Right? Not there. Here, yes. This, yes. So now you know the power of this. Because most of the time, most of the time, we use the pattern count to take to detect if there's something there right so we do the pattern count we do this value source we do this right we use pattern count to check if something exists but it's not working well okay because if i put 222 or if i put 333 uh no what i'm put what i'm putting uh if i'm putting uh 22 33 uh what can i put here to make that's working or 33 something like this no 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 sorry i need to put if I put, okay, so if I remove, uh, I need to find a way. If I remove 11, yeah. If I remove 11 and I put 11 here, it will say I have twice 11, which is not true. Not true. I don't have 11 in that list. I have 101, 111, and 1,133 but I don't have 11. Now let's do the same, right? Let's do the same using the filter value. Uh, what happened here? I don't have it, right? This guy returned yes. This guy returned yes, I have two. This guy returned nothing. This will return only if it exists, right? But this doesn't exist, right? I don't have 11. So the filter value, if you want to check if a, 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 a number exists or a name exists, okay? You understand? Because uh, also we can do this, for example. Let's do another example. I'm putting Nick Hunter here. Okay. Right. So now if I do, if I say, this doesn't exist. But if I go there in pattern count, uh, 
he said, yeah, it exists three times. And I see, and I see, and I see. You understand? So the filter value, sure, you get something correct, right? Is the best way to do. Also, the pattern counts when you want to try something, you want, you want to test something, right? Only works, only works. Let's put that here because I'm, I'm going to use it. Um, ID. So I'm putting the ID here. Oh, no. Yeah, I want. And I'm putting here. So I'm going to replace, I'm going to put IDs here. Now, I can this list of ID, like this, and compare, OK? So I can say, uh, pattern count, for example. I'm going to look for the list of IDs. I'm searching this. Yes, it is part of my list, right? So the list of ID returns this, right? And this returns this. But because we deal with unique IDs, we sure, we sure, right, that we never have a duplicate. So this is unique. So the pattern count will never fail, never. But you can also use the filter values, uh, filters values, for so this, right? It works as well, right? It works as well. So the, the difference between the two its pattern count will tell you how many occurrences you have. One time, two times, three times. This will return the value itself, right? But that's okay because um, you, know, you can you can deal with this. You know, if you want to if you want to know using filter values if a value exists in the list you want to filter. You just do this, not is empty, boom. That means it's there, it is there, right? That means I know one, that means yes, this is part, that means it's not empty. It is not empty. We have a question about this. Uh, filter values is not case sensitive? No. Check. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. No, it's not case sensitive. See, it filtered this, even if here, not. Right. Of course, you can use the same technique as the filter I showed you yesterday. You can substitute. For example, right? Let's say I want to I don't want to take care of the of the space, for example, right? So I can substitute here the space replaced by nothing. And I'm doing the same here. Right. So that means now I don't care about the space. So that's a good because let's say you have this and this. Well, it's still working. Right? 
that means you can you can detect that something there you won't take care of the of the space right so see here i have the space here space here and and let's say i don't have a space here see if you have something like this then it's still working because you substitute the space you understand yep that makes sense so people are agreeing okay so no question so it's uh, that's it you know it's uh so let's put let's let's put uh, let's finish the file so i'm going to i'm going to use this no i'm going to rebuild it so uh let's go to the database and this is a results right and it's uh filter values target to not replace and I'm putting the result here uh, no like this like this okay okay yeah it's not aligned at all okay now it's a... okay so um okay so so now I have this, so I can do this, right? Oh. But I need to put back like it was. Oh. Okay, so now let's let's go to other things that I want to. Yeah, we have time to. So if we don't have any other question, I can switch to the. We have one from yesterday actually that I want to grab since we we're taking. Uh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the process to convert the remove string into individual characters and recursively use substitute to remove them from the target string? Question mark. Yeah, you remove you remove them from both, and then you do the test on both without the character you want you don't care. That's what you do. You do a substitute. I don't know if I still have it. You do a substitute on this, right? And then you can remove. Uh, filter value filter. You can remove the character you don't want by by substituting the character. Let's say for here, for example, you know, on this on the uh, on this exact on this here, right? I don't want to take care of the character return, for example. I want to be able to to do this and to say this is. I want to I want to make this exact, even though I have three and one here. I want that to for me that is exact. Okay, so let's do that with exact, right? So you do exact and you substitute from the exact source, you substitute the car, the car return by nothing and the comparison text target, you do the same on this. Substitute this and you remove this and you replace by this. So for me, this is exact. Those two. Even if you have characters here, even if, if you don't, you know, that's exact. Even if I do this, it's exact. Because I don't have a car return. I don't care about car return. If I do this, it's not, but this is exact. Right? You understand? Right. So that is when you do substitutes. It's the same for filter. It's the same for everything. Question? Nope. That was the last one that we think we had. So. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. So now I want to switch to those because those are important uh, and they can be cumbersome. The get a CSS, I'm switching, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's there. Uh, it's not as important. You use that when you do coding for, uh, when you generate code for HTML and stuff like this, this can be useful, right? Uh, I can just do a quick demo on this, right? So if you put Nick Hunter, like this, 
and you add some some you know uh let's say i want to add time oh i hate this time italic and here i'm putting 14 and here i'm putting this and i'm putting a ball style here and here i'm putting a color like orange right if i click this if i get this text as css this is what i get i get all the style that i'm using the font the, the colors right the color so that can be useful if you want to extract the color you understand um sometimes we want to extract a color the color code right so you say i want this color so now this is extractable so you can set a color right because the ff2712 this is the color uh This is the color. So I can, uh, uh, here, I don't, uh, if I go and I want to put a color on the text here, and uh, see, uh, 2712. I don't know if that's the same. Yeah, yeah, F, uh, or FF, yeah, FF, yeah, FF 2712. So you can, so you can extract the color, uh, ex, the, the color here using the get as CSS, or the font name, or whatever, you know. You can do that. You know? So if you want the font, you want to extract the font name and you change to times. Ah, right. This is the time you run this is the phone so you can extract this very easily right okay so this is what get as css but um, the most important now is to get this date number text time all of this okay let's go to date okay dates we'll get until the end of this webinar i, I bet what the dates do Okay. In FileMaker, right, this is not a date. It's not. It's 0, 01 divided by 17 divided by 2024. It's a number. This, right? If I do it here, 0, 01 divided by 17 divided by 2024, I get the same number. See? So this looks like a date, but it's not. It's a text, not a date. It looks like a date, but it's not a date. It won't be considered as a date by FileMaker. Proof of it, if I say plus two, this is what I get, right? This is a text, not a date. To make that a date, I need to do this. It looks the same. Right? But now it's a date. Why? If I said this is 19, not 17, he added two days. The default units in FileMaker dates is a number. If I say this and I added one is said 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, right? You understand? So 
if one day you have something like this, right? Because I saw that. I saw people doing like this, right? I saw people doing this. I had two days on the date, right? That works. Actually, I can add three days, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, ah, right? 14. But what will happen now? Oh, the January 32, January 33, the January 34, yeah, in California maybe it exists, but other than California, that doesn't exist. I mean, 01, January 24, 24 doesn't exist. So I saw that, I saw that people doing like this, adding days like this. This is beep, not good. If you have something like this, right? And I'm adding 15 days, it goes to the next month. 14, 1st of January, the 31st, 31st of January. 15 February 1st. So you guessed it. If I if I add if I add 150 days, it goes into June. So it goes. It follows the calendar, right? That was a get as date. It's important, right? Also, uh, because. You can you can do something like this, for example. Okay. Okay. I have day, month, year. Day, month, year. Right. So day, I'm putting. 17, month, one, year, 2024, right? And you want to do something like this, right? So I see that, I saw that, right? So true, month and day. Yeah, I know, I'll fix it. And your right, correct. So I'm taking the month slash day slash year, but that's not a date. So text proof of it. He's doing this. He he thinks that I'm saying year plus two, thirty six. 26, right? What I can do, we get as dates this. And now this is a date. 17. If I had 150 days on this, it going to June. Right? Now it's a date. Right? Correct? Uh, I can generate HTML pages from get as CSS? Question mark. Yeah, so that's what he's doing. You get a CSS, uh, the get a CSS, you get a CSS code that you can paste in, in your, you know, uh, this, you get a CSS. You know. This is a CSS code based on this. So pretty much you can build, you know, you can have a piece of, you know, if you want to format something, if you have an HTML layout, you know, you have a page, HTML page that you want to file maker as a file maker source and you want to keep the formats, that's what you need to do. Or if you want to send a code to a plugin, um, you know, um, to for emails, for example, and you want to keep the formatting, right? Correct? So that's what you need to do.
I don't want to go too much on that demo because uh, uh, when you extract this, after that, you need to go to the HTML slash CSS kind of for development, Java, right? So that's what you need to do. So that's why I don't want to go too much here. Other thing that you can do with the get as date, right? So after that, the get as date, you can, you can play, okay? Like this. Yeah, you can do this. Um, so you can add get as date like this, right? So the month plus two, and it will fix it. So uh, if you say this, uh, you, you go, but you can do this, okay? So you can say plus one, plus two, that will work as well. Uh, I don't know if I do this, no, it, it doesn't want, uh, that's not a way to do that. So you can add days like this, but if you pass, see now it doesn't understand, you understand? So that's what I want to show you. So that means you cannot, because this, right? Uh, the 17 plus 15, that will be 32. It cannot take this as a date because it doesn't exist. You understand? So let me show you. If I if I if I do uh, like this, it's like doing like uh, uh, it's like doing 34, 23, 20, 24. Is that date? Is that a valid date? No. So the get as date will fail because it doesn't exist. This exists. You understand? So this here, that's another way to do that. And I'm going to show you later, right? When we go to, when we will be here, this is the purpose of those, okay? Also, the last thing I want to show you on the on the on the date is that you can get a date as number. So if I do this, this is the February 17, 2024. If I'm doing this is 18, 5, 6, 7, 8. But well, that's cool as well, right? To get the date as a number and play with it, right? Because day one is this, right? Day one. So we are 738,000 days, uh, 738,938 days since the, since the first January of, of the year one. This how it works. So if I do this, it works as, no, if I say plus two, I can do that. And I can do that as well. So sometimes it's cool to have a number. That means get a number date. I can get a number. Put the number here. So uh, let's say uh, date result. And do this uh, day. Oh, day. So what I'm doing? Okay. So something I want to show you before we do building this. Right. If, when you want to do something like this, like day and and this. Okay, so this is pain in you know where, right? This is super painful to do this. This is super painful 
oh, I need uh, to reverse this. Okay, this is super simple. No, I prefer to do something like this. Like this, like this. This and you re and you replace the carriage return with this, and you get your list. Advantage is I can out of this build brand new get as date two. It's month. Oh, um, I don't. I don't like to do that. But uh, month number, day number, year number. Yeah, because we cannot, you know, put the name, right? So now I can just replace this by this, this by this. And this by this. So now I have a brand new custom function that does that for me. Right? So get as date two. Boom. I have my new custom function. That means I'm getting this as date without adding the slash, slash, slash like this, right? So you use a list substitute bomb. Much better. Much better. So I'm going to get this, and I'm going to build the date result. It's a date. But there's something I want to show you. How Fabricer works. Fabricer has sometime a weird uh, way of uh, where is my death results? Okay, here. Sometimes FileMaker has a weird way to 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 work. Okay, if if I do this, if I use a field, right? So follow me well. If I use a field. Defined as date. I can do that. I can do, I don't need to get as date. I mean, I, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm confusing. I will confuse you if I do this. Um, pretty much, I don't need to do this. Let's do the, I, I don't need to do this. Day. I need to go to the old way. Otherwise, I will confuse you with the I I I took I I I put the, the wrong name here. So month and day and year. So now you know why I don't like this because it's ah okay. I don't need that. I don't need the get as date. So this will turn this, right? It's a date. I know it's a date. It you know because I get as date here in the date in the date result. But because this field is has a type date, I don't need that in the in the, in the field like this in the field. I don't need that. It's a date. It will be rec recognized. Why? Because the field is defining, is doing the get as date included in the field. The get as date is included when you use the, the calculation inside an auto entry calculation that is, a, you know, is a date, is not the calculation result must be dates. This is a date. I don't need the get as date here. I need the get as date in the calculation. 
For example, let's say, let's say I'm putting here, ah, one time it's broken. I'm putting here a number, right? I have a number here. I'm putting 10, right? Correct? And I want to do like, I have a calc. I have a calc. And I want to do this, right? So let's, let's do the old way because otherwise, you, you know, so let's do this. Uh, this, 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 this. Okay, so let's do this here and put here, you know? And I, and I have a date like this, and I want to add plus the number I have here. But that's okay because I have 10 days. But if I put plus 30, right, this is what I get. January 47, right? That's why you need to get as dates. You need to get as dates to do this. Oh, sorry. This works. It took these dates and out of 30 days. So because you said, yeah, get as dates, otherwise it won't do. But now this is when you have a calc that is not inside a date field, okay? Because I could have done this, get the date field, the date result, at this, this works. Why? Because this had this is how I, it happened. I use a, a field which is a date field to collect this, this, and this. That way, that will make that a date. Now that I have dates, I can use the field in my calc like this, or I can do this. If I don't have the field, I have to use this. If I have a field, I can use the field directly, and I don't need that. Is that understand? understood? Uh, okay. Someone, Labo 404, there's talk about the generating HTML pages from Git as CSS. Yeah, well, I don't, I'm not interested. Uh, <laughs> so that's a unrelated discussion I okay, think unrelated from earlier discussion. okay okay yeah. sorry I knew I shouldn't have terrible, terrible to talk about this but uh, but the get as dates is useful when you want to convert a piece of text in 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 a in a in a, in a, in a dates and use this and use all the characteristic of dates, right? Otherwise you can use a field as a date, which will pretty much convert text into, into dates and then use that field as a date because this field is a date. This field here is a date field, right? So it's, it's it will be, uh, it wasn't used as a date, you know. Okay, so if you don't have any other question on this, I don't want to switch to another topic because those uh, we have get as number uh, and get as text. Ah, uh, I can, I can, I can do the get as number. Okay. Um, see if if we don't have any question. But no, I'm, I, we have time. We, let's do, let's do tomorrow because the get as number can be yeah mm -hmm. can, be, can be tricky, you know. So 
So no no other question on get as dates. I don't see any. So Oh yeah, the last one. The last one bef before we go. Before we go, you know. Before we go. Important. I knew I, I knew I was uh you know. But let's say I have a timestamp field. Right? So that the date result text. Timestamp. So I say I have a timestamp. So I'm putting the current time. Right? Yeah, and I want the date out of the timestamp. Get as date. Timestamp. Where's my timestamp? I'm extracting the dates out of the timestamp, right? With get at, but also if I use the date field and I'm putting the timestamp in that date field, also. That will be the date. So, a recap. Get as dates is doing like putting information in the date field, but in a calculation without going to the date field. Right? If you if you need to if you want to use the date field to extract, the, the date field is a get as date included, right? The date field. But in a calc, like I did a demo, like this, you need a get as date to do this, right? To do this and add a number of, you know, to get this work. You understand? Know Yes, nope. no, that makes sense. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, people, uh, David has said get as timestamp plus one is not the same as get as date timestamp. Oh, he's talking about the parentheses. So if the plus one is inside the time, is, is inside the parentheses of the timestamp, it's not the same as Which time plus stamp? No. If you do oh, get as one. date, get as date. Do, Timestamp, and you, and you say, do a plus one inside the parentheses. It's different from outside the parentheses. Oh, it won't work. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same because yeah, but okay. No, 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 no. Okay, let's. If I do this, if I'm here, right, and I do this here, it won't work. Because this will return 47. I'm getting the whole thing as a date. And then I'm adding the number. Because this is a date now. The demo I did was that a date field is doing a get as date included. If you put this, if you put this inside the date field, the date field will do the get as date demo demo before we go. I'll duplicate these date results and I'm putting that as a text, not a date. Correct? Look what happened here. If I do a get as date, if I if I use the this field. Uh, date this one. This is not a date. This is not a date. But if I use this one, yes, now he understands. See? Change the number. But if I use the other one that is not a date, it doesn't work because this is not a date. It's a text. This is a date. 
the tech, the date field has a get as date included. That's what I want to explain. That the get when you go there and you set that as a date is like saying get as date. That's what you did. But here is get as text, and this is get as number, and this is get as time, get as time temp. This doing that action in the field is like doing get as timestamp time date number text. The same. You include this. That's why sometimes it is relevant to create a field just for the purpose to eliminate to have to do this. Do a field because in my opinion, this calc is easier to read than this one. You don't th you don't think? And imagine that you need to use that date. Imagine that you need to use this, the month, the day, and the number, and the year. Many, many where in your solution. Each time, in many calculations, that means each time you need to do that. Each time you want to say get as date, text, month, and slash, and day, and slash, and year, you want, no. You put that at once in a field, and you use the field. That's it. You understand? That's what I wanted to I wanted to point that a get as date is good when you want to do something on the fly in a calculation. But if you want to have something more permanent, converting this, putting this inside the date field, we do the get as date included. And what I want to show you is that you don't need you don't need to put the get as date in the in the in a in a date field. You don't need because it's included. You get it for free because when you change the the when you do this, it's like saying get as date. That's the same. Oh, that get as date. That means everything you everything you type here now it's a date. You understand? Right. That's what I want to explain. But to get as dates in a calculation can be useful sometimes. Because sometimes you don't want to convert, you don't want to have a field if you need that once, right? One time, you need one time. Okay, put, you know, put your, you know, like for example, if you need that in the, you know, in a uh, uh, get as dates, let's say. You need that. You need you you need that once, you know, so you can say set viable dates. So you put the you put the get as dates like this, and you put the you know the month and all the crap and the day, right? And the year. So you put this, right? Row dialog, for example, date, date plus 30, for example. Okay. So now I have a good demo here. Get as date. Okay. Oh, I can do this. Get date plus and my number that I use. Right. Uh, sorry. Yeah, get plus uh, and this. And here, I'm putting this. OK, so the demo is this, boom, 216.24, right? If I put 50 days here, boom, it's per July, right? Dead plus 50, right? So I can say 
uh, to make this better, I can say uh, I want this date results and right, right. So now I have a web demo. Um, it's the 17th of January 50 from. So you have a demo here, what, how you can use this, you know, this. You get as day this, now it's a date. And if I did this demo, it even in a variable, that will be considered as a date, correct? Even in a variable. If you do that in a variable, this is considering as a date. Now the variable is considered as a date. Correct? That important as well. Mm -hmm. If you want that to work. 117-2024 plus 50, it's a third of July. Yeah, and if I put one day more, it's fourth of July. Ha <laughs> oh, no, ha no, no. no, 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 no. It's uh, the third of, uh, no, July. Yeah, the, it's the third of um, August. August, yeah. There you sorry. go. Uh, it took it, no, it took me a second. It's because, it's because it, no, no, I'm, I'm living in a country where they do day, month. Yeah, that took me for a second to realize what you were doing. I'm like, isn't that March? I'm like, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, no, no. It's, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, uh, yes. it's, uh, it's hard for me sometimes to switch to, uh, you know, and sometimes I'm working with England where they, they, they it's day, month. Sometimes and, and there over there sometimes they do year day month, <laughs> right? Yeah. So war war sometimes you know and <laughs> so and this is the time zone where I'm working right you know all yeah. all the time zone you know so it's uh... <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Sometimes you know sometimes I'm I don't show up during the meeting. It's because I think they are five hours later, but no, they are five hours ahead. And okay, so. Uh, Okay, so uh, now that's important. The, the you know that when you when you say get as date in the in a variable, this is now considered as a date, right? It's very important, and not just a piece of text. I'm wondering, just for fun, if that if if because sometimes Farmica do some stuff, you know. If I do this, will it be considered as a date? Oh, see, it's not. It's a number, right? Pretty much, it did. You know what it did? It did this. One divided by seventeen divided by twenty twenty four plus fifty. No. It did something wrong here. It did something weird. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it did something like this. Right? That's what it did. One, seven, I, I don't know. Or he, he, he got this. I don't know what he did. He, he, I, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. But, well, yeah. But, but anyway, you know now that if you don't, if you do this, now this variable is a date. Boom. And now I have the calculation on the dates standpoint with the date standpoint. That means he added 50 days of a date. So that that is important to know that you know the this get as date and you have the same on get as number and get as text. Uh, we will see tomorrow is doing the same thing. This get as something is very important. Change your life because how how you want to do this. How you want to do something that simple to add 50 days of a date in a variable if you don't have the game date? No, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, that, that's a quiz. I don't know get as date. I don't have it. I want to add 60 day, 50 days. I want to add 50 calendar days to that construction without the get as date. I have an idea because I did it, 
in the past, right? It's a nightmare of a calculation, especially in the in, back in the day we I didn't have all those functions that I have now, right? So you want to add 50 calendar days, you need to change the month, change and change the year because look at this, the get as dates. 2025, it goes next year. Not only change the month, it changed the day, the month, but it changed the no, it the month, the day, and it changed the year, right? So if you don't have the get as date, good luck, right? So don't minimize this get as date business. Don't minimize it. And I know many of you and many of you that are going to watch this video, we say, oh, God, if I knew that, I wouldn't have spent like two weeks building a crazy you know, calculation on this. Correct? <laughs> yeah. Cor I mean, I'm asking people. I'm asking people. I don't have the get as date, and you want to do exactly the same result with this. That's a challenge for tomorrow. I want somebody to come not using get as date and do what I've done. Right? And see without how the long the calculation date. takes? Yeah. W without the dates, uh, without because if I use the date field, that would be the same thing. Without you just using this, just using this, not a date field, I want to use a, a variable with just this as a challenge for tomorrow. And I know nobody will come with an answer. Yeah, you can go chat GPT without chat GPT. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, without, <laughs> without, without chat, chat GPT. GPT. Okay, so no cheating. You know, not cheating. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know it's impossible. It's uh, people are I saying the it. date function. We also no, did. no, no function. I don't want function. I really, I just want this. I, you know, no, no. If you so, don't know about get as dates, don't know no other function. I have this. You have this <laughs> as you have this, and you have no, and you don't know about get as dates. I know you can use a date function, but it's not as good as this one. Okay, so no, don't do it. I know it's impossible, so don't do it. Uh, okay, so we can come tomorrow. So tomorrow we go, we continue. Uh, uh, Monday we you... continue. Yes. So you are. Yeah, yeah. From... Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was, you know, no. You can you can work on the. So next will be uh, number. Uh, CS, SVG, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, um, that's because, you know, it's, I will do that later. It's, I don't want to spend time on this. Uh, t uh, we do number, text, time, timestamp, you know, that pretty much. Oh, this is very, very, very cool. This is very cool. Uh, I'm Okay, on this, I'm going to have a special day on this because I'm going to explain to you how to do something impossible, right? So a sneak peek, when you're on server, right? Insert, uh, insert picture PDF, insert file, insert uh, picture are not available when you're on the server. When you do a PSOS, well, no longer. But thanks to that function, the get as. So I'm going to do a special day for this get as encoded URL. This. Oh, the, you know this one or another one? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's another one. It's get as file maker. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, I will come. I will come later on this one. I'll convert from file maker fast, you know. So I'm going to do that one day. But this is this is not this is no longer the case. The insert PDF file picture on server is possible. File maker made it possible, but it's well hidden to be honest with you. Okay, so guys, YouTube. Uh, see you uh, Monday. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nick. We will Thank see you. you. Have a good one.
report of an individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. On the ground. Give me your hand. 